Yes, yes, guys, welcome back to today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's collaboration there with Saeed. I am going to work on getting more people on the channel, so yeah, bear with me on that one. And keep letting me know in the comment section below who you want me to get on these daily transfer roundups. Well, let's get straight into it then, guys. Aston Villa have agreed a £35 million deal to, to sign Spanish defender Pal Torres from Villarreal. That's from The Guardian. We all know that this deal's gone ahead now. They're going to be pretty strong now because they've got that uh, Carlos that came back who missed the whole of last season. They've still got Tyrone Mings. They've got Pal Torres. I'm telling you, man, Aston Villa, I'm calling it now. I think they could have a really good season. Top six, top seven, I think has to be the aim. Uh, Netherlands defender Urien Timber is set to undergo a medical with Arsenal after they agreed an initial fee of 42 million quid. That's uh, 36 million pounds with Ajax. Um, yeah, obviously, Arsenal moving mad right now. My question on Arsenal is, if they get uh, Declan Rice, they get uh, Justin T uh, Jurian Timber, you know what I mean? Is that enough? Do they need something? I think they need something else in the in the attacking positions, personally. Um, they've got Kai Havertz, but I think they need another winger, probably another striker as well. It doesn't look like they're going to get one, so I don't think that's enough, personally. Let me know what you think. Uh, West Ham are still waiting for Arsenal to present an acceptable payment plan, uh, payment plan for the £105 million purchase of England midfielder Declan Rice. That's from The Sun. So, yeah, I've seen before on Twitter that apparently West Ham want the large part of this fee paid up, uh, up front, but... Whether or not Arsenal are going to be able to meet that is another story. So Arsenal are kind of in a weird position now because they have to they have to get this deal done. Otherwise, it's very embarrassing. And uh, West Ham now, obviously, City have pulled out. West Ham are going to be pushing Arsenal all the way. So is this done deal? Who knows? I think it probably is. But let's see if there's any twists in it. Uh, Chelsea are pushing for an agreement with Brighton over the signing of Moises Caicedo with the Ecuador midfielder having already progressed, uh, already agreed personal terms. Yeah, that's from Fabrizio Romano. It's looking like he probably is going to Chelsea. Um, United apparently want to try and steal him, but that's not going to happen. I don't think they've got the money for it. They've just agreed to deal with Mason Mount, so it looks like he is going to Chelsea. Good signing for me. Uh, Bayern Munich's France defender Lucas Hernandez is on the cusp of a transfer to PSG. That's from Fabrizio Romano. And further on that, PSG, have you seen the news? PSG's manager has been arrested. Absolutely unreal scenes. And... Um, yeah, he's been arrested for discrimination whilst when he was at Nice. So I'm not entirely sure what he's done, whether it's racism, sexism, I don't know what it is, but that ain't a great situation. And Hakimi, hasn't he been done for rape as well? Like, fucking hell, man. Uh, not a great situation at PSG right now. Uh, Celta Vigo Spanish midfielder Gabri Vega has been identified by Chelsea as the ideal replacement for uh, Manchester United bound England midfielder Mason Mount. Yeah, Gabri Vega, a bit of a weird one, this one. I feel like City want him, but they don't really want him if you know what I mean. And obviously, Chelsea have just lost Mount. Will they go in for Gabri Vega? I think he's going to leave Celta Vigo. I don't think he's going to come to City, though, because I'm not seeing any more progression. City are linked with him. City are like him. They like him. Go and pay his release clause. It's pretty cheap, but nothing's really happening at the moment. So I don't think City are going to get him, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Aston Villa are considering a loan move for Barcelona's Spanish winger, Ferran Torres, with a purchase option of £21 million. Pounds. That's from Mundo Deportivo. Now, look. How much did we sell him for? Was it 50 million quid we sold him for? And now apparently he can buy him for 20 million. Not great. I think he made a bad decision wanting to leave Manchester City. Ferran Torres wasn't doing bad at City. Remember, guys, he wasn't doing he wasn't doing great, but he was struggling to get into the team. Um, but I, I think he was on the right trajectory for me. I don't think he was shit. I, I see a lot of hate, not hate, but like a lot of disrespect to him on, on Twitter from some City fans. I don't think he was doing bad. I just think he was young in a different country. I think he was progressing, um, showing good signs here. You know what I mean? And I think he could have worked well. And I think he made a massive, massive mistake. I think he thought Barcelona were in the mud at the time. I could go there, get in the team, and I could be in that team for a long time. Barcelona... It, it didn't happen that way, and I think he's made a big mistake. A former England midfielder, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, is in Italy to finalise a permanent move from Chelsea to AC Milan, who will target Chelsea's USA winger, Christian Pulisic. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've spoken about Loftus-Cheek before in these daily roundups, and yeah, it's time for him to move on. And AC Milan, good side. Champions League football, happy days. Uh, Chelsea striker Romelu Lukaku has rejected a second offer from Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal worth £45 million a year. Uh, as he uh, say again, look guys, honestly man, this is meant to be Euros. This is meant to be your... The, the, this BBC, yeah, whoever the editor is on this BBC roundup gossip thing are ridiculously bad. Every day we come on these gossip things and there's something wrong. Um... 
as he only wants to leave for Inter Milan, that's from uh, Lukaku. Fair dues, man, he rejects the cash and he wants to play European football. I respect that, you know what I mean? And he, I think Lukaku's probably too good to go there at his age. I think he needs to stay in Europe a few more years uh, for me. Uh, Tottenham midfielder Pierre Holberg, uh, uh, Emil Hoiberg is a target for Atletico Madrid and Spurs were prepared to sell the 27-year-old Denmark international. I think Hoiberg's had a couple of decent years, but I think it probably is time for him to leave England and leave uh, Tottenham. And he's still a decent player. I, I think that he would actually really suit um, Atletico Madrid and that sort of style of football. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it probably is time for him to move on. Uh, England defender Eric Dyer's future is in question as a Tottenham as he only has one left on one year left on his contract, has not signed an extension, but the 29-year-old wants to fight for his place under new Spurs manager Ange Postacoglu. That's from the Telegraph. My view on this, from a Spurs point of view, is get rid of him. He's absolutely fucking shit. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, he can play the ball out from the back. He's slow. Is he mobile? I don't think he's a particularly good defender. He doesn't strike me as someone who's prepared to fight and die on the football pitch for his team. Yeah. Get rid and move on, honestly. Um, where are we at next? Uh, here we go. Uh, Juventus, Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen are interested in Sheffield United's England under-24 uh, Daniel Jebison. Don't know anything about him. Uh, Manchester United and Chelsea are both interested in Aston Villa's Argentina winger, uh, goalkeeper, sorry, Emiliano Martinez. Good goalkeeper. I do like him. And uh, yeah, can understand why some clubs will be interested in him. Aston Villa, I think, have to keep hold of him because he's a, he's a massive part of Aston Villa. Very, very good goalkeeper. They don't want to be losing him while they're on this sort of up, upward trajectory. Um, Manchester United manager Eric Sanag has blocked English goalkeeper Tom Heaton from moving to Luton Town amid continued uncertainty of the Spanish keeper David De Gea. That's from the Telegraph. Yeah, now it does look like United are probably going to move for this Onana, but it just looks like United don't really know what they're doing at the moment. It's very, very messy with the goalkeeper situation, but they need to get rid of David De Gea 100%. Uh, Zaha will become a free agent on Friday, but the Ivory Coast forward remains in dialogue with Crystal Palace, so could agree a new deal. That's from the, that's from the mail. I like Zaha. I actually really rate him. I think he's a great footballer, and I think that he's had an unfortunate career. I think he went to United at the wrong time. You know, he went to United when they were a mess. And I think that sort of hindered his career, actually, hindered his progress. And um depends what he wants to do, man, because he's 30 years old. Yeah, I don't see him going like a top six club, a European club. If I was him, I'd be trying to get to Saudi Arabia. I, I would. I'd be trying to get to Saudi Arabia, get the cash. But if he wants to stay in England, wants to stay in the Premier League, fair, I respect it. But if I was him, I'd go get the bag, man. Uh, Arsenal's Portuguese left-back Nuno Tavares is the subject of interest from West Ham. Do you really want to get Nuno Tavares? Arsenal succeeded in convincing English midfielder Ethan Nanwery to commit his future to the club despite interest from Chelsea and Manchester City. That's from the Telegraph. Yeah, apparently he's very highly rated. I've never seen him play. Highly rated. City were heavily linked with him, but he's agreed to sign a new deal. So, fairs. Uh, Brazil 31-year-old Roberto Firmino, who left Liverpool as a, after his contract expired, has agreed a deal to join Saudi Pro League Al Ali. That's from the Guardian. Fairs. Respect it. I have no animosity for any of these guys going to Saudi to get the bag. Uh, Borussia Dortmund's move for Ajax midfielder Edson Alvarez has stalled and that could open the door for West Ham to try and sign a 25-year-old Mexico international. Of course, West Ham are going to be you know, in the market for some players. They're going to lose Declan Rice. They're going to have a big transfer budget, you'd think. And I think they really need to make sure that they they uh, they, they spend that money wiser. I've seen yesterday on the, uh, on the transfer round that we did with Saeed, they were linked with Harry Maguire. I think that'd be a great signing for West Ham. And uh, they were linked with a couple of other United players. Scott McTominay, I think, would be a great signing for West Ham. So let's see how they move. Uh, Roma manager Jose Mourinho is eyeing a double swoop on Leicester City for Nigeria striker Kelechi Inacho and Zambia forward Patson Daka. Well, the big question here is, are these players going to want to stay at Leicester City whilst they're in the, the championship? Of course, money... You know what I mean? Have they got clauses in the contracts to lower the wages? Do they need to bring money in? Leicester might have to sell some of these players. And, and you know, these two players probably are too good to be in the championship. Uh, Leicester's uh, former England striker, uh, Jamie Vardy, has rejected interest from Saudi Arabian side, Khalij FC. Yeah, I don't think Vardy's going to leave. I think he'll stay there and get them out of the, the championship. So, fairs on that. Uh, Daniel Fark is on the brink of becoming the new Leeds United manager with the club hoping to have the German in place for the start of pre-season training next week. And finally... 
Uh, Chris, former Crystal manager, uh, Crystal Palace manager Patrick Vieira has emerged as favourites to become boss of League One side Strasbourg. So Vieira trying to get back into the game. Well, there you go. Let us know what you think in the uh, in the comment section below. Make sure you drop a like on the stream as well. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. And uh, yeah, I guess some of the main news there is uh, Pal Torres signed. Ferran Torres potentially going to Aston Villa as well. Moises Caicedo. Um, and yeah, obviously links. I and mean, what's going on with City, man? What are we doing? Are we going to sign anyone? Apparently City are not going to sign any flying fullbacks. We just want to play that standard four centre-backs across our back four. So yeah, I don't know. Let us know. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow. See you later.